Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle multi-selection box fields, which are otherwise known as list box, okay? We can also call them as list box, okay? List box fields or multi-selection box fields. In the previous session, I have demonstrated how to handle the HTML dropdown fields, okay? In the HTML dropdown fields, we have the possibility of only selecting one option at a time. We cannot select multiple options at the same time. Okay. But coming to the multiple multi selection box fields, we can select more than one option at a time. Okay. So I'll show you practically how does a multi selection box field looks like. So I'll open this browser and uh, open this application URL. And here on the top, we have this multi selection box field. Okay. This is a drop down field where you can only select one option. If you select another option, the older option selection will be gone and new option will be selected. But at a time, only one option can be selected. So, so coming to the multi-selection box field, it's kind of different from the uh, drop-down field, guys. That is, here we can select multiple options, okay? Manually, if you have to select multiple options in this multi-selection box field, you have to hold, press and hold the control key and you, with, using your mouse, you have to select the options, guys, that multiple options will get selected, okay? This is what is nothing but the multi-selection box field, which is otherwise also known as List box field, okay? The name for this multi multi selection box field is list box field. Now, now in this session, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle this multi selection box field, okay? So, when comparing this HTML drop down field with this multi selection box field, here we only have list number of commands, okay? Select by visible text, select by index, select by value, is multiple options first selected. Around six uh, six commands are there, but in multi selection box fields, there will be more commands because it has the capability where we can select multiple options, guys, okay? So there are, there's a possibility of selecting multiple, okay? There's a multiple options. So there are more commands here, you see? Select the same commands will be repeated, few commands. You see, all these commands which are uh, applicable for the HTML drop-down field are also applicable for the multi-selection box field. For example, here, the same class, select class. Here also multi-selection box field, same select class. We have to create an object for the select class. A similar way we have done with HTML drop-down field. Here also we are uh, here we are passing the drop-down field web element to the select constructor. Here we have to pass instead of the drop-down field, we are going to pass the multi-selection box field web element to the select constructor. Here these six commands are there. Apart from the six commands which are already there in the HTML drop-down, they are also covered here. You see, select by visible text match matching, select by index matching, select by value matching. You see, the, some extra commands are for deselection, guys. These four extra commands are for deselection. Here only selection, but here along with the selection, we can deselect also. How can we deselect? You see, manually I'm doing that control. Again, if you select, it will get deselected. Okay. That kind of deselection is possible in multi selection box field. Deselect by visible text. For each and every select option, there is a deselect option. Apart from that, we have deselect all command also. Okay. Deselect all command also. The same is multiple, whichever is there in the HTML drop down field uh, is also there here. And here we have options, here also we have options, here we have first selected option, here also we have first selected option. And apart from the first selected option, we have all selected options also. We can retrieve all the options that are selected in the drop-down field, okay? Fine, these are the different commands we have in the multi-selection box field. Let me now practically demonstrate this for you, okay? So let's go for the practical demonstration. Demonstration, okay? So I'll switch to this PyCharm ID, I'll clear all this stuff, so here, uh, we have this sample Selenium Python code, which will open the Firefox browser, maximize the browser window and open this application URL in the browser. Once this application URL is opened in the browser like this, okay? Now I want to select options in this uh, multi-selection box field. I can select multiple options, okay? So each and every uh, one by one option, I'll select with different co commands, guys. Uh, I'll select one of the option with, you know, select by visible text, select by index, select by value, like the three commands I'll use for selecting multiple options here, one by one. You can use same command also for selecting multiple options, but just to showcase uh, different commands, I'll be using different commands for selecting multiple options, okay? So here, uh, here goes the thing, okay? First I have to create an object for the select uh, class, select predefined class in Python, selling in Python. Here, I need to pass the web element, which web element, multi-selection box field web element, okay? For that, I have to first create uh, I have to first create the web element, right? Then only I can pass it here. How to create that driver dot find element? By dot xpath or whatever that is, we'll find it out. What is what locator? Inspect this multi selection box field. Just select like this, you see? Just select like this and inspect now. You'll be able to get the HTML code of this multi selection box field. It has an ID, guys. Copy this ID. 
under this multiple selection box, we have the different options that is Volvo, Swift, Hyundai, and Audi. For now, I'll select this ID locator. I'll use ID locator for locating that, uh, you know, multi selection box with ID. Give the ID locator and I'll store this uh, into a web element uh, that is nothing but, you know, multi selection box is equal to, okay? Now, here underscore I have to give this, okay? That's where it is coming. Multi selection box. Copy this and, uh, you know, the web element you pass into the select constructor. This, uh, Object, uh, it will create an object reference, right? Uh, it will return you the object reference. I'll just name that as select, okay? Now using this object reference, okay, to which they say, you know, multi-selection box code is passed, and simply access the commands that I select by visible text. Here, by using the visible text, I can select an option. For example, I want to select, uh, you know, uh, Swift option, S-W-I-F-T, right? So as it is, I have to give, visible text I have to give, okay? Next, select word, select by, Index with the help of index, I want to look at, for example, I want to select Volvo. Index is zero, guys. Okay. I'll give zero as the index, which will select Volvo. And now I want to select RD using the value. Select dot select by value. Okay. I'll inspect this. Already we have inspected this multi selection box. We have the options here. You see, RD option has is having the value attribute, having some value. I'll copy this value of this value attribute of this RD option. And in the double quotes, you pass it. Now run this script, you will see that in the multi-selection box field, this command will select the Swift option, this command will select the first option that is Volvo, and uh, this command will select the Audi. Here Audi X is a value of this value attribute of this Audi option, Audi option will be selected. So we can select multiple options, guys. This proves that we can select multiple options and there are several commands or multiple commands in Selenium Python for selecting multiple, I mean, selecting the options in the multi-selection box field. With the help of visible text, index, and value okay we can select the options you yes, see observe the multi-selection box field and see that three options volvo swift and audi got selected now right similarly we have the deselecting options also okay so here i'll give some time dot sleep after selection and give give some time let's say you know five seconds i'll or uh, three seconds is enough after selecting these options i'll give three seconds and after that i want to deselect these options guys okay one by one i want to deselect the options for that, which commands we have opposite of commands, okay? For select by visible text, what is the opposite command? Deselect by visible text. For select by index, what is the opposite command? Deselect by, you know, for uh, select by visible text, we have deselect by visible text. For select by index, we have deselect by index. For select by value, we have deselect by value. These commands are going to deselect the options, okay? I'll show you one by one. Select dot, deselect by value, okay? So deselect by, sorry. Uh, Anything I can do, deselect by visible text, I'll say. Visible text, I'll give that as, you can give anything, guys, okay? Uh, out of these three selected options, I can give anything, okay? I can give Audi also if I want, or I can give, you know, same Swift also, I can give no problem, okay? Now, select dot, deselect by index. I'll give zero here. You can give anything. You can give one, two, and all those stuff, no problem. So, deselect dot, deselect by value. I give the value of Audi X, okay? Now run the script and see that uh, whatever the options that got selected here will be deselected with the help of these deselect commands. Okay. In multi selection box field, we, there's a possibility of deselecting the options, guys. But in drop down field, the, this possibility is not there. Okay. So that's why we have extra commands in multi selection box field. Okay. For handling. You see, they got selected after three seconds. You observe this. All these three options will get deselected. Okay. One by one. Now instead of writing this, this many commands, right, there's one option where at a go, you can deselect all the commands. Okay. So instead of, if, if there's a possibility, if you have to deselect all the options, what's the use of writing three statements? Simply write select, uh, select dot deselect by, uh, deselect all, sorry, okay? Deselect all command, okay? The next command here we have is a deselect all command, which will, at a go, will deselect all the options, guys, okay? No matter what. Yes, observe here. We'll deselect all the options. You see all the Volvo Swift and Audi got selected and uh, after three seconds, you observe that all these options will get deselected. Okay, done. Next, what is the next command we have is multiple. Okay, we have already used is multiple with HTML dropdown fields, right? It will, uh, if you, if you use this is multiple with multi-selection box field, it has to return true. Whereas if you use the is multiple with uh, HTML dropdown, it has to return false because here only one option we can select. But here in multi-selection box field, we can select multiple options. That's why is multiple which can be used as an expression in if selection statements or any condition expressions, right? We can use, which is going to return false in the condition expressions, okay? Uh, in this case, false, drop-down case, false. Whereas is multiple in condition expression in case of multi-selection box will return 
true okay why we have to use is multiple okay there is a possibility that using by creating an object for a select class we can pass any web element the web element uh, may be a drop down field web element or a multi selection box field to find out whether the web element passed to this uh, select constructor is uh, a drop down field or multi selection box field okay we can use is multiple okay so based on the result we can find out whether the element passed to that select uh, constructor is a uh, you know drop down field or a multi selection box field we can find it out let's write the code for that anyhow so let's remove all this stuff and you know here we are passing the multi selection box field so if i write here if select dot is multiple if it is true if this condition is, you cannot you cannot print it separately guys you have to use with the selection statements only or any other conditional expression statement if select where uh, you can provide some result like true or false kind of thing here i'll write if it is true it is a multi selection box field right the passed web element to the select constructor is a multi selection box field okay so i'll write like this multi selection box field and if this is is multiple this in this case it is going to return true because we are passing multi selection box field only if in case you are passing the drop down field it will return false and uh, else block will be executed where you know we will print drop down field okay and here i'll print the browser guys driver dot quit i'll say okay driver dot quit run the script You see, it has printed multi selection box field, okay? Because we are passing multi selection box field, it is uh, is multiple is written in true because it is a multi selection box field, and we are printing that, okay? I don't uh, next next thing is uh, let's see, options the same options command that we have used with HTML drop down field to retrieve all the options irrespective of whether they got selected or not, okay? Can also be used with the multi selection box field to retrieve all the options in the multi selection box field irrespective of whether they are selected or not okay so here i want to retrieve all these options from the multi selection box okay so what i will do here is i'll simply say select dot options i'll say okay options this will return you a list of options guys okay so i'll say m options i'll say m options m means a multi selection box we'll assume that so this list of options are there here it is a list case if you print it out print the type of the this variable right it will print as a list guys okay in the output now we can use for uh, for loop with the list right so for okay for option in yum options like this you can write print of option each and every option in this yum options list of options i am going to reiterate this loop and option dot option means web element will be retrieved uh, it will print some you know random numbers i mean web element kind of numbers okay i don't want that numbers and all i want the text of these options okay whatever the text that is there between the tags here right you see but for each and every option web element here in the multi selection box field, they have the text between the tags. This text I want to retrieve, starting and ending text, I, text I want to retrieve. So that is the reason here instead of printing option, options or something, I print dot text guys, okay? Like this, and uh, finally I'll say driver dot quit guys. Finally I'll say driver dot quit. All the options in the multi selection box field will be retrieved and printed in the output console now, okay? This is how options will work. You see, all the options in the multi selection box field got retrieved and printed. Volvo, Swift, Unda, and Audi got printed in the output console. Now, the next thing is next command. The next command is first selected option. Here, in this multi selection box field, I don't have any statements uh, where I have selected any option here. I'll select the options. Guys. I'll simply say select dot. Uh, so, this command I'll use that is uh, select by visible text command. I'll you know Volvo, Volvo, and uh, you know select dot. Next, uh, next I am going to select which option Volvo, body option. In this, which option is selected? In this, which op in this which option is uh, first selected Volvo, right? That need to be retrieved and printed. So for that, I'll use this command. I'll remove this part. Here two options uh, I've selected. So I want to uh, print, I want to retrieve the first selected option. Okay, from the top to bottom, whatever the first option is selected here, right? If you are selecting multiple options here, from top to bottom, which option is coming first, Volvo, right? That will be printed in the output console. Simple words, okay? It doesn't matter in which order you are selecting the option. For example, I'll put this Audi first. I'm selecting this Audi first. It doesn't mean that Audi will be printed now. Okay, it will not retrieve Audi. This first selected uh, 
first uh, first option command will not retrieve audi so for example if this first you know uh, let's say first you selected audi then you selected volvo still it will print volvo only from top to bottom which option is coming as selected first volvo so volvo will be printed okay that way it will be working guys so here i'll be writing print dot select uh, dot first selector option it will retrieve the web element guys it will retrieve the web element uh, it will return the option of the web option in the form of web element i have to say dot text otherwise it uh, it will print the web element guys okay i want to retrieve the text between the text to understand that option so let's run this code and see our uh, volvo should be printed guys not rd okay even though it's shown as selected first word but from top to bottom volvo is uh, in the selected uh, list from top to bottom in that multi selection box right so volvo should be printed in the output console not rd You see, Volvo got printed as I explained, right? Volvo got printed. So people get confused here, okay? This is a tricky thing you have to understand. Next command we have is uh, all selected options, okay? No matter how many. You see, out of the four options, we selected two options, right? I want to retrieve not all the four options, okay? Using the options command, we can retrieve all the options. For example, if I say select all options, these options will retrieve all the options, whether they are selected or not selected. But I want to only retrieve the selected options. Select all. Uh, I'll write this command that is uh, all selected options. Okay. Only the selected options need to be retrieved. I'll say here M underscore S yes underscore options. Okay. That means selected options. S stands for selected, for example. Okay. Now here I'll write for option in M underscore S yes underscore option print off. Print off. Only the selected options will be retrieved and printed again. Okay. Text. Now run this script and observe that. Only the selected options will be retrieved from the multi selection box field and they will be printed. That is, only Volvo and RD will be printed in the output, not all the four options. Okay, only the two options that are selected in the multi selection box will be retrieved and printed. That is only Volvo and RD. You see, you can see here Volvo and RD, two options. So, hope guys, you understood uh, all the different commands that we can use with the multi selection box field for handling the multi selection box field in selenium python which is otherwise known as list box also so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye